Any other questions before we play? Yes. And what is the sequence that you're using? This is Cubase. Um, and it's actually, all of the DAWs that are out there, they all have the same common thing. Red button means record. The, 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 the techniques, the concepts are all the same. He likes performer, maybe logic. I don't. Maybe I like Pro Tools, maybe I like Cubase. And all of these programs, in fact, Cubase, all the Yamaha gear comes with what they call Cubase AI, which is a free version of this. So you, already, you don't even have to buy that program. Um, Persona Studio One, they have free versions of all these things. So I know that one of these questions is going to be, how much does it cost? That's a good question. You get a free dog from any of these companies that just want to try it. Something like BFD Ego, which is the smaller program of BFD, is on, it's a $30 program. Uh, this MIDI cable was $24. So you can start getting into it for relatively you know, small amount of money. And on this side, we don't care what the kit is. We're just waiting for MIDI to come through. So this is an outstanding kit, but you can play these sessions and these samples from any drum set, Zen drum, which I don't know how familiar you guys are with that, but that's cool. That's cool. So. Yes. That's going to be my short answer for everything. So the, the, the answer, the question was, are these triggerable from an acoustic set? There's two ways that this works. You can buy acoustic drum triggers and plug them into a brain like this and generate the MIDI. You can also, inside of a, a digital audio workstation like this, there's a program called Drumagog. And this is very common for pop music. It's used for enhancement or full-on replacement of drum sounds. You'll see this, well, you won't see it, you'll hear it a lot. Um, maybe we're tracking and the snare drum just doesn't really sound very good. So we can go in with Drumagog and identify each one of the hits, keep the velocity the way it was that it was played, but completely replace the sound with what's coming out of this program. Are you talking about audio performance or MIDI performance? Both. Audio performance through Drumagog 5. MIDI performance, you just pull triggers off your drums and put them into a trigger MIDI interface like a Roland V-Drum Brain or a Yamaha Brain or a Lisa's. Mixing this drum set as, a, as an acoustic set as opposed to? Okay, so how would I mix because we're working with audio? Or we're working with MIDI? Okay, well the MIDI is generating audio. So once I've cleaned up the MIDI, it's, I'm working with audio again. That's all mixing techniques. If you're going to have the uh, add or reverb or add a compression, that's a choice you're going to make when you're making when you're working. The reason you use a VST instrument like this is all those dynamics and all those articulations. That's where the difference comes in because everything starts there, and then you can start messing around. Ooh, like uh, he likes a, 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 a kind of a, the specific reverb tape that that happens in his monitor mix at his studio. Or we can just generate that, we can add the monitor, or we can add the reverb as an effect in the channel. Does that answer? Okay. We, uh, uh, we're going to wrap this up. We haven't, have we tried this yet? No, I haven't tried this yet. I just start playing it. I was playing the piece of music. Um,
Thank you all for your attention and your time. John Emmer.